All right, everyone, books away, pencils out. Good old Professor Trev is here with a quiz for you. First and only question on this quiz, what makes a gank a success? Answers must be in a full sentence, no looking at your neighbors. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not literally going to ask you a fucking question and then just end the video. I'm not cruel. But this is a good question. What makes a gank a success? Is it a kill? Summoner spells blown? Getting some damage in? There's not really one definitive answer to this question, so I want to start off answering the question by explaining to you the role of a jungler. By definition, jungling is a support role. The other support role is obviously support. Now this doesn't mean a jungler builds support items per se, but a jungler's main objective should be to support their laners. Now long ass videos have been made on the topic of the many ways you can support your laners, but that isn't really the focus of this video. I just want everyone out there watching to realize that as a jungler, it is your main job to assist your laners as much as possible. So back to ganking. Ganking is one of the many ways junglers assist their laners, so when we look at ganking as strictly a way to assist laners, then we can begin to see what the main goal of a gank is, and that is the gank should benefit your laner in some way. Now there are many levels of how much a laner benefits from a gank, so let me try to describe these levels to you. The first level, the one that gives the least benefit, is showing up and getting spotted by a ward or the enemy before you can actually do anything. Contrary to popular belief, this still helps your laners. How, you may ask, you didn't actually do anything? Well, actually, I did. By showing up and getting spotted, the enemy laner is forced to back off, giving my laner some relief from the pressure of the enemy. It also causes pressure for whichever lane is nearby because they know that I'm close and they'll be forced to play safer. Also, bonus points if you clear the ward that spotted you, reducing vision for the enemy and forcing them to play safer since you could still be in the territory. The second level that gives slightly more benefit to your laner is getting some damage on the enemy. Let's say I'm ganking at level 3 and I get some damage on the enemy, but they were too close to their turret to get a summoner spell or a kill. Well, I've still helped my laner out. Even though no kill was secured and no summoners were spent, the gank was successful. Since my laner now has a health advantage on the enemy, they can start putting more pressure on them, possibly forcing a back or securing a kill after I've left. And the third level is getting a summoner spell. Usually this summoner is flash, but blowing an enemy's heal, exhaust, ghost, or even ignite is good. This gives a direct and tangible benefit to your laner, because now they have more tools at their disposal than the enemy does. And it means if you come back before that spell is back up, you'll be much more likely to secure a kill. Now the fourth level isn't quite a kill yet, it's forcing a back. This is where you do so much damage on a laner and possibly take a summoner spell, which makes it so they literally cannot stay in the lane or you will kill them. Now this is a big swing for your laner. After this gank, you may be able to take a turret, helping your whole team, or at least push the wave in and make the enemy laner lose valuable gold and experience. And the fifth and best type of gank is a kill. The higher up in the ranks you get, the harder it is to get this type of gank off, and so the higher people climb, the more they think their ganks are bad because they're not getting kills. But that's the harsh reality. Most of your ganks won't end in kills if the enemy isn't full of stupid idiots. Although this is solo queue, so eh. But yeah, if you get a kill from a gank, you feel awesome, and for good reason. It's literally the best thing you can do for your laners. They get gold from the kill, gold and XP from pushing the lane in, and you deny the enemy gold and XP at the same time. It should be your goal to make this happen as much as you possibly can. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you now realize that almost every time you visit a lane for a gank, you're still helping your laner even if you don't get a kill. Don't just sit in the jungle all day farming, and that's words of wisdom coming from me, a Warwick main. Alright guys, if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like or subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.